when I got traded, Rajon Hul gets on the phone and it's at night and, and we're in Colorado. We're playing jersey. We're in Colorado. And he calls where I get traded like nine at night. And uh, Rajon Hul gets, oh, you know, Lou calls me. He says, hey, we traded you. I said, okay, yeah, whatever. And Rajon Hul gets on the thing and he said, hey, uh, you know, good to have you. He said, we're going to get you on a red eye into Boston tonight. And I said, okay, he goes, we're going to play tomorrow in Boston. I said, great. He said, we heard you don't sleep much anyway. <laughs> I said, they, I found my place. He said, finally they get me. Yeah. That's not who respects what I do. Yeah. But man, Lou was, he actually called me one summer. It was like in June. And he says, hey, well, his assistant called me and said, hey, we're going to have a uh, a little uh, week down in Florida. Bring your golf clubs. You guys are going to do a little bit of training, but it's Lou wants you to go. I'm like, finally getting the respect that is deserve after two years he finally gets me well i show up and i'm waiting for dinner and there's a few of us there's three or four of us like peter sakura patty Eliash, and ken danico and so i'm waiting for dinner and they put this little plate it's about that big in front of me with a little piece of like uh couscous and one like scallop and i start laughing i'm like what the fuck man <laughs> And Lou comes in and he's like, boys, you're here for a week. You're doing mental toughness training. It was like Navy SEAL training. We didn't touch the golf clubs. It was just the, the golf club stayed in the van for a week and we're running in the mornings. And the It's it's like 100 degrees and full humidity. Buddy, I left there. And then the the last day we're there, the last day we're there, our owner lived in this place, Lake Nona. Maybe you guys know yeah. it, like the golf club. Yeah. And so David Ledbetter was there. So we did we did this thing and we trained and, and whatever. And so the last day, like we had, we had eaten like hostages for a week. I mean, like <laughs> nothing. Okay. And, uh, so they said, okay, you guys are going home tomorrow. Tonight, we're going to have a barbecue at the team owner, Dr. McMullen at the time. He had these two labs, big yellow labs. Okay. So we go over there and there's this huge tray of steaks. Okay. Just the smell of the barbecue. Like I'm like, I'm gonna eat both seven. Well, we get rationed the food. Okay, so they cut the steak up for us. You get like a half a steak, and and whatever the sides are. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I'm looking at the steaks. Like, when can I go in for? When can I do it my way? Yeah. And Doctor McMullen is taking the steak off the tray, and he's feeding it to his labs. I would have ate the lab. I was like, this is this is unbelievable uh he's feeding the steak to the dog and we're sitting there looking at each other like i don't think he likes us man. that is mental toughness that man. is old school mentality that's like fight. starve the boys bring that's... the fighting words oh, oh it was man it was crazy i remember lou whipped his shirt so we had this like 6 a.m run so we're getting up at like 5 30 and it was really hot and humid this morning and you guys know lou and uh so we get up and our jog was like a couple miles, right? I couldn't go friggin' 200 meters jog. I had to walk. I could, now I'm out of shape. <laughs> so Lou, Lou comes up and he's talking to me. The sun just came up and he whips his shirt off. And he's like, I'm in as good shape as you. He's, you know, this little guy whips his shirt off. He's 65 years old. He's, I'm in better shape than you. I'm like, oh, he, he, he kind of was, though. I'm like, yeah, you know, that bud. Like, good angle, Lou. You look pretty good there, man. <laughs> Hang on, like, wow, you got already good shape. <laughs> Scotty Gomez couldn't have been doing too much running at 5.30 in the morning, was he? No chance. Buddy. We also had, for the summers, that summer I moved to L.A., we had Pavel Burry's dad came and trained us. So he trained us for like a month, right? And so we had to do this running, and we had to do these agility drills. And I remember being with uh, Gomer. He just won Rookie of the Year. So he he was good, right? He was like, I, I'll i never work out again in my life. Like, I'm sad. And... Uh, Pavel Burry's dad, man, like he thought we were Pavel Burry and we were not. That's not the way we played, but he had us doing some things. And I wanted to quit hockey. I just signed a contract. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know if I can do this, man. Uh, this is hard. I hear you. I, I hear some of the stuff they made us do back in the day. I, I don't know if it helped our career for sure. I know mean, some of the workouts. And I have nightmares line. of that. That Wingate, I still have nightmares of that stupid Cybex bike, that white one with the fucking weights on. And I, I look at that thing oh. with the VO2, oh. like the 10 minute VO2, no. where they just keep piling it on. 